Welcome to another edition of Table Topics. I'm Mayor Lynn Long, City of Fort Oglethorpe. We have a very special guest with us today. We're going to talk about elections and let Orma Lucky, our election superintendent, explain what her job is, the upcoming election, and keep you informed in the city. Orma, welcome. Oh, thank you, and I'm glad to be here with you, Lynn. And I like to talk about elections. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I've had a lot of them, so yeah. I've gotten used to it by now. Um, I do want to talk about the coming election. Uh, this, it's a special election, and it will be um, geared in with the general election November the 4th. Our early voting starts on October the 14th, and it'll be here at City Hall three weeks in the room that we're filming in today. And uh, it, it's from the 14th through the 31st. And then on November the 4th, which is the big election day, the election will be in the council room at City Hall. And it'll be from seven to seven. So you tell me something a little earlier that and I knew that it was going to happen sooner or later, but it's, to me it's got here sooner than it has later. There's actually the last city election, there was more people voted early voting than on election day. Am I correct? You're correct. We had two elections in 2013. And on the first one we had a total of 555. And let me give a little piece of paper here. Uh, out of that 555, um, 200 I mean, 314 voted early out of the 555. And um, then on, when we had the general election, on, it was on the 13th of March, we had a total of um, 1,219. And out of that, 702 voted early out of the 1,200. So both times we had more people coming and voting early. Um, the reasons that they give us is they like to come because it's not crowded and, you know, they don't have problems like that. And uh, so we, d we have found that tree in the last few elections we've had. So. I vote early and I always do and Linda and I both do. Linda and I vote on different days and, uh, and I think a lot of people do, spouses do. And uh, I like early voting. I think most people do. They feel more comfortable if it's pouring down rain on election day. <laughs> They've already voted. They don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I, I would like to just press, uh, make it a, a, almost a plea to the people to come out and vote. That's the, what you can. One thing you can do to help your city, because if you don't come and vote and show you show no interest in the city, they're not helping at all. So come out and vote, and then you can voice your concerns, and you can see how the city works. Come to the city council meetings. But uh, it's really important to get out and vote. Uh, we, a lot of people may have received little cards that look just like this. It's a little mm -hmm. postcard, and it's called a voter registration card. and. Um, I helped put stamps on 5,556 of those recently. What if I'm John Q. Citizen and I didn't get one? You call me or you call the county office and tell them I did not receive a voter registration card. And they say, why do I get this? And it tells you where you go and vote for the county elections. Now I go to the precinct at Westside. Mm -hmm for the county elections. For the city elections, I come here for every one of them. We don't go to Constitution Hall anymore for the city elections. Um, someone over on Deets Road would go to Boynton for their county election and come here for the city election. We have people that go to Lakeview for their county election, here for the city election. So if they just bear in mind anything that relates to the city election, you go to uh, uh, to City Hall. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, the room we're in at this time will be in here for three weeks voting, you know, early voting. And then on what we call the election day, November the 4th, then we would go to the council room because we figure we'll have more, but that hasn't worked out. <laughs> well, you know, and I live in four, I vote, have been voting at Constitution Hall. All right, I will continue to vote in state in federal elections there. Yeah. I'll, in City Hall, all city elections will now be here. Uh -huh. So. Your county, you, go, you would go to Constitution Hall if you're in that district, if you're in District right. 1. I'm in District 2, so I go to West Side. And also this card tells you who your, your uh, county commissioner is in District 2. I mean, it gives you the number. And then you can call the county office and say, who's uh, the commissioner over District 2? And they can tell you, mine is Bobby Winters. Or yours would be- Jeff Long. Jeff Long. Then it tells you who your school board representative, the number for that person. And again, you could get their name through the county. Tells you who your state senator is. It's number 53, Jeff. Mullis. It tells you who your um, your senator it going to Washington and the uh, House representative. That same thing. So that's more information about it. Tells it. you a lot of things, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so it's not just to put in a drawer and forget about it. You need to have it ready. On. You cannot use it as a photo ID. So you got to have <laughs> you got to have a, a driver's license or some or official. A if you've been in the military and retired, you with a photo, you, we I like to get those, and because um, I'm proud that I've met someone that has served in the, the service for our country, and then we have other means too that um, you can use a photo ID as a photo ID. We do not ask to see your driver's license; we ask to see a photo ID. But a driver's license would be adequate. Do. And it doesn't have to be valid. It can be expired for Georgia. But if you uh, had a Tennessee license, it, it would have to be uh, current. That doesn't make good sense, does it? No, it really doesn't. If they're going to be voting in a Georgia <laughs> election, maybe they, well, and they would have had to have lived here long enough to register uh, yeah, to vote. Yeah, that's, that's what it is, yeah. But uh, it's, it's really not hard to vote. I mean, and if you do your homework and um, listen to some of the candidates and kind of compare and, like I say, come to the council meetings and go, if they have a, a debate, you know, go to the debate. Find out as much you can about that person. But um, it, now you only have until October 6th to register to vote if you haven't already, if you're not current with your uh, registration to vote. And you can come by City Hall and get a form to do that, or you could go to uh, Ringo, to the uh, election office down there, so next to the courthouse. I feel real strong about this as a mayor. We've got about 10,000 citizens in the city of Fort Oglethorpe. Those 10,000 people are shareholders of this city. It's like a business. City council meetings are business meetings. The people that you elect to take care of your business as a taxpayer and owner of the city of Fort Oglethorpe. And it is one of those 10,000 people, if you're 18, and have lived here long enough, and have a, you know, go down and please register to vote if you have not. And on election day, whether it's early voting or, or the big day, which has turned out to not be so big a day, <laughs> yeah. please go vote and elect a representative to take care of your business, of your, you're an owner, right, because you're if, a shareholder. If you had no hand in um, voting them in, you really don't have a box to stand on to say, I don't like that or I do like it. So. And I want to thank you, Wilma Lucky, our election superintendent of the city of Fort Oglethorpe. You do a very special job. We in the city of Fort Oglethorpe, and you've talked about the number of precincts that we have, and there's several, 
city elections in county, state, and federal. We also have citizens that are registered voters within the city of Fort Oglethorpe that also live in Walker County. So we That's right. I'd forgotten about those uh, the people we have close to 300. It's between 2 and 300 people that live in and Walker you, County and live in the city. And we have there's five commissioners in the in the county of Catoosa. The city of Fort Oglethorpe is registered or uh, represented by a district 1 commissioner, mm -hmm. Jeff Long. And Bobby Winters, District Two. So we've got two. We've got double representation in we the really city of Fort Oglethorpe, mm -hmm. and and both are very good individuals. And uh, but all you people that are not registered, please go see yeah. Carol please. Murray and yeah. register to vote <laughs> and come out and tell us. We I know, and um, we get to know the people, and we we know who's going to be the first ones to come vote on early voting. And this last year, in March, that person, the couple didn't show up and we sent somebody to call and see if they were sick or something happened to them because they always were the first one to come and vote. And it so happened they had been sick and the, so they came the next day. So That's very, very good. Yeah, and, and they see, uh, they'll see me out in public and they say, oh, I saw you at the election place. So. Well, I want to thank you personally for being here with us today and helping the citizens of the city of Fort Oglethorpe. And uh, thanks again I, for being with us. I enjoy my job. It, it gets rough sometimes or it gets a little bumpy, but uh, you expect that when you, there's almost 10,000 people you're trying to, to um, make happy. And out of that, that close to 10,000, we've, we've had about... 12% of the people voting. Let's make That's it not enough. That. We need it bigger than that. So. We do. And I mean, and I understand your job. Sometimes it does get tough. <laughs> Being the mayor sometimes gets tough. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I need a hard hat and a flak jacket. <laughs> but other than that, it's it's a pleasure, to, and I know in your, you feel like I do, it's a real pleasure to serve the shareholders of this city. One quick thing. the the. Um, workers I have working under me, right now every one of them live in the city of Fort Oglethorpe. And uh, that, that's, and they've been working the elections even before I came along, uh, what, not eight, nine years ago. Yeah. So uh, they work hard and the days are long, but we really enjoy and like what we're doing because we're, it's a service to the city. And you can tell you enjoy doing it. So, <laughs> And I thank you very much for being thank here. Thank you for asking me, Rick. I'm Lynn Long, Mayor of City of Fort Oglethorpe. Thank you for being with us today. Don't forget Election Day, and don't forget to go register to vote. If you have not registered, remember, you are a shareholder in this city. You are one of the owners of this city, and you need to hire people that are going to conduct the business of your business, which is the city of Fort Oglethorpe. So thanks for tuning in, and if you hadn't registered, go. If you are, please go vote. And if you'd like to run for city council, sign up, doggone it, and do it. And I'm not supposed to say doggone it, but I did. So anybody, thank you very much for being with us today.